welcome back to code tonight so in today's video we will see how we can implement stripe payment gateway in dotnet core 7.0 so as you all know dotnet core 7.0 is the latest framework by uh, microsoft and uh, there are not much information about how to implement stripe payment gateway into that so i have made this video about specifically dotnet core 7.0 okay so uh, first of all we will see what we are going to do in this so you see this is uh, stripe dashboard and uh, here you can see the last transaction is for 22 july which is um, yesterday okay so um, we will try to make payment uh, using our dotnet core 7.0 application so uh, here we will show you that it is a uh, .NET Core 7.0 application so you can see the target framework is .NET uh, 7.0 okay so now we are running the application to see how it works okay so we are making a five dollar payment here and clicking on checkout so now it goes to the um, stripe payment screen and there you will be able to enter the card details okay so um, we will select some address here and then we will select some card details and then we will some put some cvc and we are ready to go so uh, specifically i have entered the uh, usa details because the currency is in us here so i am specifically working with the uh, us address details so if you put like uh, um, indian address then it will not work for you so you have to ch make sure using the um, foreign address here okay so now we will click on pay so when you click on pay uh, it will complete the payment and then it will go to the success method so we will so we have this breakpoint over here for success method okay so you can see it coming to success now for making sure that it has actually completed we will go to the dashboard and we will just refresh the screen so last payment was on two dollar and now should be five dollar So uh, you can see here the five dollar um, payment is succeeded and it is on 23 July, which is today. Okay, so that means the payment has been completed. Now, since we have seen the working of this, we will see how we are doing that. Okay, so the first requirement that we have is to add the nugget package. Okay, so you have to go to project and click on manage nugget packages then you will go into the browse button and search for stripe.net on stripe.net you will install this latest uh, version okay so you can install the same version if you are watching the video um, later okay so you can use that uh, now since we have done added that so we can go to the app setting file and here you have to write the uh, stripe details like a security key and public key okay so you have to change these settings as per your account and now we have this in the app setting so we have to get those in the code okay so for that part what we will do is we will create one class which we have both the properties and this name is the same name as the app setting uh, node here okay so now we will go to the program.cs so you see uh, it is quite different how to access the um, app setting file in uh, core and nmvc and core 7 okay so in dotnet core 7 um, what you have to do is you have to write builder.services.configure then you have to write the class which should be the same structure as the key here and the keys here okay 
so if you go and open this class then also we will see the same properties okay so now since we have done that now we can get section from app settings now this configuration dot get section pick the data from the app settings so it will look for this node okay so stripe settings means uh, this node okay and then it will pick the data and fill into the stripe setting class so on this line is required to get the properties from app setting now since we have done that we can go to the controller okay so on the controller that the first thing that we will do is we will declare the stripe setting class same class in which we have stored the app settings so we will use i option stripe setting so now this will provide you the data uh, which we have added in the program.cs file okay so now once the value get in this class uh, then we will be able to use it uh, like this here okay so now since we have the key so we have specified the success url and the cancel url so uh, you all know how we can get the success url and cancel url is so you have to run the application So when you run the application you will see the port number here so 7196 okay so same port we have written here then this is the controller same controller and this is the success method where we want to come after the success of payment and same we have the cancel method also so now since we have specified these two urls we can uh, use session create option to uh, say what type of payment it is so it is card payment and then we have to give the product details like which product data you want to show on the payment screen and then here we have the amount okay so uh, one thing we will notice here that we are entering amount from ui but we are multiplying it by 100 so now that happens because uh, in us currency it uh, works with the cents okay so for example if you want to do the five dollar then it you have to enter the 500 okay so because we are expecting the currency in the us dollar so what we are doing if you are entering five we are multiplying it by 100 so it becomes 500 cents okay so that is same as the five dollar okay so that's how it is working and then we have entered the quantity so these all details show up on the screen payment screen okay and then we are creating a session and this will provide us the url on which we have to redirect so we are redirecting on that specific url so then it will go on the stripe screen and we will do the card details and click on payment and then it will come back in the success method okay so this is how we are uh, completing the payments in stripe so in the view part we don't have much changes so we are just creating this simple form with one uh, uh, input box and one submit button and then we are pushing the data on the create checkout session method so you see the method is here okay so this is the method you see here okay so now if you are wondering from where you will get this code then what you can do is you can um, you can check the video description there we will provide you a direct link but uh, if you are not finding that then what you can do is you can go to our official website cotonile.com and here also you can uh, find blog related to uh, stripe okay so uh, here we have different type of stripe blogs so you can see uh, stripe payment gateway asp.net core now that is core 3.1 and this is we have for mvc okay so we have different stripe blocks um, but you will find this one with 7.0 version so you can go to specifically that one and here you can uh, download the attachment and you can so you can download the exact code which we just seen in the video and that will work completely fine uh, and similarly you can um, check out the code below also and get it from here so that will also work so we have seen uh, in the video we have also mentioned everything here so you can uh, um, read the information from here so we have also entered the card details which we have used okay um, 
however you have to enter the address yourself okay so and this is how stripe payment gateway works in dot uh, net core guys and if you have any kind of issue then you can comment on the video and if you need any other video regarding any other topic and then you can comment on the video with the, that topic name and then we will come up with that video also so uh, thanks for watching guys and if this works for you don't forget to subscribe the channel thank you